It's Joe, and this is my next project. All right, today's little project is, like I talked about last week, I think we're gonna make a bar, a piece of structure that will come straight up from there and another one that'll go all the way across here. And in order to get in there and do that, we gotta take the neck lid off, we're gonna take all this plastic off. We may even get to the point where we're cutting this up and getting rid of a lot of this understructure. But if we take this off, I think I can walk straight in there. I'll set that rear end down <clears throat> or get rid of it. And that's today's plan. I'm gonna set you up. I'm gonna set you up over here. However, I'm gonna move that car around. I'm gonna move the car around a little bit where it's pointing this way a little bit more. Hang in there. Now we've got a bar that's going to go across here, up in there, and then, let me get that out of here, and we're going to have another two inches going to come up and join that bar at the bottom, and that'll give us a base to run a frame rail off of here. Um, and it is gonna settle right on there. And I thought I could make a paper pattern. And we kind of know how to cut that in the back. That fits on there pretty good. So, this is gonna fit, it's gonna fit down here if I cut that bar out correctly. Where's that gonna go? If that's gonna fit there and there, how's this piece gonna fit? I'm thinking it's gonna fit like this. Not an exact science. One of the fun things. I like making patterns. Okay, where's this one gonna go? That one is going to go. It's going to go further. We'll cut it again. Oh, about like that. And we'll just keep lowering this till I get it to fit. 
That side fits better. All right, that'll give us a starting point. All right. It's gonna fit on there something like that. That'll give us a starting point where we can cut a lot of stuff out there. And then, and then, going to be 18 inches long from here. There's a seam. I think that's it. There's a seam I don't want showing. And we're going to be 18 inches. This end we're going to end up cutting off. Let me see what you can see. This end, we're gonna end up cutting it off because I haven't marked how, how long that's gonna be. It'd be around 18 inches long. This piece. It's too wide. Let me just cut a little. A little off there where it doesn't hit the sawhorse. Is that piece? This is this piece. 18 inches long from the tip of this, or 19. Let's go. Let's go 19 inches from here. It'll be right there. There's that. And now this front here, we've already said it's gonna fit relatively square. There. Came out okay, didn't it? It's already that 18 inches I cut before. All right. here. 
All right. I'm going to put a new wheel on the uh, cutter, and I'll be right back. We'll cut it. There we go. That's a pretty good bracket to build the rear frame off of. And it was dang easy to build. As always, good welds are always on the back. You should see the back of this. It's just beautiful. Coming right along, I ordered those parts out of uh, a and A. I got the brackets in and I'm gonna show them to you next time. We're gonna build some brackets for the bottom of these three lengths. I've got some really cool little uh, hem joint brackets for a frame and uh, can't wait to show them to you. Hey, hit the subscribe button, tell a friend. Thanks for tuning in.